Hi, I'm Kale Weber, here with Braden Fickle and Anthony Silvani. The Buccaneers beat the Cowboys 31-29 in the NFL season opener in a game when Dak Prescott returned. Braden, what do you think about that? Uh, you know, it was a great game by the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, you know, the Bucs came out on top, but the Cowboys looked really good. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to see, you know, what they, what they have in store for the rest of the season. Uh, but I'm, I'm big on both these teams here. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I really like the way the Cowboys played. Not just their offense, but their defense kind of stepped up. We know last year their defense was... You know, bottom of the league, but you know, they forced turnovers. They got stops when they needed to. Unfortunately, though, their game was kind of ruined by Greg Zerline, who couldn't hit field goals. Unless uh, he had one late in the fourth quarter, but they left too much time on the clock for Tom Brady, and Tom Brady just did what Tom Brady does. I was really disappointed in what Mike, Ev at Mike Evans brought, though. He had one catch maybe for 10 yards, I think. Yeah, you see him go to the sideline there, too, uh, with a little injury, but then come back right on the field. Does that concern you at all? Because you know Mike Evans, he's pretty injury prone, so. No, I don't think it concerns us. Just remember, most of these Bucks starters didn't play preseason. They didn't play a lot of snaps, so they're just used to it. And it's going to happen week one. You're going to get some injuries. The Raiders upset the Ravens 33-27 to on Monday Night Football. Anthony, what do you think about that? I thought it was a very great game. Um, one of the wildest endings that we've ever seen. They got the ball, thought they scored in it overtime. Got back to the one, couldn't push it in. And then threw an interception. And then the Ravens fumble and Raiders won. I thought it was a great game. The, the Ravens defense really threw that game for the uh, Lamar had a great game, but the defense just ruined it. Yeah, I kind of thought the, uh, the Raiders were going to upset this game. You know, they always play great on Monday Night Football. Uh, said Darren Waller, you know, he's, he's a beast on Monday Night. You know, he put up 100 yards, scored a touchdown, uh, 10 catches. And uh, I just liked the way that the Raiders played this game. Uh, the Ravens, you know, I think they kind of struggled a little bit, but they're still going to be a good team. And, um, yeah, I just like the way the Raiders played, so it was a good game by them. The Saints upset and blow out the Green Bay Packers 38-3 after an impressive debut from Jameis Winston, who threw for five touchdowns. Anthony? I thought it was a great performance from New Orleans. All three phases was working for them. The receivers, they were without Michael Thomas, but, you know, they, they still blew him out. And Jameis Winston only threw 148 yards, but what he did, you know, to that Packers defense, which we thought was going to be better, it was really good. I really like what James Winston. I think he's going to be, they could make the playoffs, but a sneaky team. Yeah, you know, he did what he had to do uh, with the 148 yards, but he still put up five touchdowns. Uh, the offense was just moving the ball, but that's because the defense was just getting stops, getting takeaways, and putting them in good field position. Uh, and the Packers just looked awful. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, terrible, terrible quarterback he, in uh, week one. He looked like he didn't care. Yeah, he really didn't, you know. And every cut to the sideline, he just threw his helmet down, sat on the bench, drank some Gatorade. You know, he wasn't like, he, wasn't, he just didn't seem focused into the game. And uh, I don't know if we're going to see that the rest of the year from Aaron Rodgers. Uh, do you think there's any chance they go to Jordan Love at all? If he keeps playing like this, and if they play the Lions, I think if they lose to the Lions, they've got to think about it. But other than that, I can't see Jordan Love making an appearance. I mean, on his two interceptions, he had one overthrow and then one behind Devontae Adams. Again, just didn't care. He doesn't want to be there. He wanted to get traded. He signed the contract, uh, and it's done after this year in Green Bay. So he's just looking forward to that. Oregon upset the Ohio State 35 to 28 to move from number 12 in the rankings to number four. Braden, it was a great game by Oregon. Uh, they just they look so comfortable out there. The uh, and it's pretty hard to, to go on the road to Ohio State and get a win there. Uh, it was a great game by them. Uh, moving up to the fourth spot is. Is huge, you know. You know the top four teams make the college football playoffs. So, just if they can st if they can keep winning games and stay in that fourth spot, you know they're they're going to be a dangerous team this year. Uh, I really like how Oregon played that game. Yeah, I really like their game plan going in. They shut down C.J. Stroud in the first half to only seven points, and that's the lowest under Ryan Day. I think under Urban Meyer too that they've scored in a while. And Oregon, you know, their offense was rolling. Anthony Brown looked really good out there. So did T.J. Verdell. He stole the show. But I really like Anthony Brown, the quarterback. He makes throws on the run like uh, most NFL quarterbacks are going to need. I think he'll be a great player. I think Oregon has a really good shot to make the playoffs. Moving on to the argumented portion of our show. Brayden, who will be the four teams to make it to the college football playoff? Um, so we got to go with Alabama. You know, you know they're going to be in it. 
I'd say Georgia too. They're they're a really good team. They got a hard schedule ahead of them, so you never know how that's going to play out. But I think those two. I mean, Alabama's a lock unless they lose a, a, a stupid game, but I, I don't see them losing anything. So I've got Alabama, Georgia, and then I'd, I'd say OU. They don't really play anybody. Uh, if they if they drop one to one of those Big Twelve schools, then maybe they can make it out. But uh, and then if Oregon, I mean, the, the Pac-12 isn't that strong, so I think they can win the rest of their games, and uh, those could be the four right there. I, um, I don't agree that Georgia's going to make it. You have to remember, I think Alabama plays Georgia later on in the season, then they have to meet again in the SEC championship. So one of those teams is more than likely going to fall out. I think Bama, again, I think they're going to probably win the whole national championship. So I got Bama number one, and then number two, I'm going to go with Oklahoma. I think Spencer Rattler, Heisman uh, candidate, I think he's a great quarterback. He's going to lead Oklahoma to the playoff. Maybe, maybe, again, I think maybe they could win it too. And then number three, I go Oregon. I think um, they win the Pac-12 with ease. I don't see any trouble in there. Maybe Arizona or Arizona State can give them something, but I don't see it, so I'm going to go with them. And then I'm going to go with number four is Clemson. I think they, they lost week one to a very good Georgia team, but I think they're going to keep it rolling, uh, win the rest of their games, win the ACC conference, and I think they're going to be back in the playoffs. Yeah, my thing with Georgia actually is if uh, if they steal one of those games at Alabama, then that they're they're in no matter what. Like uh, unless they lose some games, but I think that Georgia, you know, if they play Alabama twice, they meet them in the championship. If they win one of those games, Georgia and Alabama are both in. Get two SEC teams, and I think it's Oregon and Oklahoma. I just think that you know with Bama being so much superior to Georgia, I think they're going to blow them out in those two games. And I mean. Yes, Georgia quarterbacks, very good. They could keep play, pace with them for most of the game, but then Alabama will pull away late like they normally do. I just can't count out Dabo Sweeney and what that Clemson team is. Even without Trevor Lawrence, they're still a great team. Turning back to the subject of Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, should there be any concern, Anthony? Um, again, if it, it all depends on Aaron Rodgers. If he plays like he did last week, then yes, there is, but I, don't, I really don't think so. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to probably win the NFC North. Uh, it's one game. You, know, you can't overreact after one game. And Matt LaFleur is still a lead head coach. I think they're going to be fine this year. I'm going to disagree. I think that, that Aaron Rodgers, when you put up three points in, in a game, just if any regular season game, when you have the MVP, like the MVP from last year on your team, there should, there should be a concern. If he plays, if he doesn't get hurt and he plays all four quarters and he puts up three points, that, that, that's a concern to me. You know, he just didn't look good. Uh, definitely going to see what he does in week two playing a, a Lions defense who's terrible. So, see, yeah, they can, but it, Aaron Rodgers, like, if he's really, if he's, if, if they don't have any concerns with Aaron Rodgers and he's going to come out there for 350 yards, put up big numbers, win the game easily, but if we see him like last week, I think the Lions could pull the upset there. I think we're concerned with Aaron Rodgers. I think we look into Jordan Love. See, see what he's got in practice, but uh, I'd definitely be concerned with Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you got to look at last year, though. I mean, the Saints, week one, blew out the Bucs uh, in week one. We all thought, is there going to be concern? And the Bucs ended up winning the Super Bowl. I think it's, it's the Packers. They would start off slow, and then they worked their way, and I think they're going to be fine. Who do you all think will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? Me? Um, I don't know. That's tough here, so... Kind of sad. I kind of just think of the Packers, but then when you look at them early, that they look terrible. So that I think they're out of the question for me uh, so far. Um, probably just say the Bucks. I mean, they just look so good. Yeah, they were great last year. Good against the Cowboys early. So go with the Bucks. Their defense is just just too hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Bucks as well. But I also think an NFC West team. Could surprise everyone and make it to the playoffs, make it to the Super Bowl. I think the Rams are the strongest contender out of any, any of them. The 49ers secondary took a big hit, but I think it will be Rams or the Bucks in the Super Bowl. Anthony, who do you think will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl? It's obviously everyone's going to say the Chiefs, but I'm going to go with the Bills. Yes, they lost week one to the Steelers, but I think Josh Allen, he's going to bounce back this week. I'm not sure who they play, but I think they're going to get a win. I think you know, their defense is going to step up. I think you know their playmakers are just going to come to play. I think the Bills are going to represent the AFC. Um, I'm going to go with the Chiefs here uh, because I mean they're the favorite. Most people think the Chiefs are like when you got Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill out there, they're just 
they're just playing for fun, you know. You're down by a lot, you just throw a deep 70-yard pass to Tyreek Hill, you're back in the game. So, I could go with the Chiefs, but um, let's talk about the Bills for a second. I don't think they're going to be the same team. Uh, I don't think Josh Allen's going to have that great of a year. Um, I don't think he'll be an MVP candidate talk either. I don't think he'll be a top three quarterback. Um, so I don't think the Bills, I think the Bills are definitely going to make the playoffs uh, because of their division, but I just, I just don't see a repeat of last year. I just, I don't trust the Kansas State defense. That's the only thing that worries about me, and I think when it comes down to defenses, Buffalo's got the better one. I think they'll be able to pull it out. Moving on to our X Factors, we start off with Thursday Night Football with the Washington football team versus the New York Giants. Guys? My X Factor is going to be uh, the Washington secondary. I think Daniel Jones always plays good against them, always has a big game. But I think if they can uh, cope with them, they lost Ronald Darby in the offseason, they uh, still have Kendall Fuller, I think. And I think, again, if they can just shut down Sterling Shepard, Kenny Gall all day, I think they'll be able to win this game. And I have Washington winning it as well. Yeah, my X factors here are actually both of the team's running backs. Uh, you know, Gibson posted not a good game uh, week one, and he's usually a workhorse running back. Uh, you, so, you see him get the, uh, the carries that he usually gets, but just not getting yards against the Chargers. And you see Barkley uh, coming back from an injury. If, he, you know, if he's feeling it, getting the reps, getting the carries, I think the Giants could win this game. But I'm still going to go with the Washington football team. But I do think the X factors for this one are both the running backs. Very interesting. Moving on, we have the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Baltimore Ravens. Braden? Um, I really hate to be that guy, but the X factor here is Lamar Jackson. Um, you know, you see him play against the, the Raiders. He looked pretty good. But, you know, late in the game, he just couldn't pick up those first downs when he needed to. Or, yeah, the first downs when he needed to. And I think that he's just going to be uh, – the X factor here, if he's, if he's feeling it on the ground, you know, he can run for a first down at any time he needs to. Um, so I think he's going to be the X factor, and I think the Chiefs, like you said earlier, the Chiefs defense, you know, their secondary is just, it kind of worries me when you look at them. Um, same thing with their, like, they just don't get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So I think that their defense concerns me, and I think if Lamar Jackson uh, plays 2018 Lamar Jackson, 2019 Lamar Jackson, then I think the, Raider, uh, the Ravens can win this one. My, uh, my X-Factor is going to be Nick Bolton, the linebacker. I think if he's going to be on Mark Andrews, if he goes into coverage, and he's going to be that guy that has to lead the linebacker court. They picked him first round. I thought it was a good pick. And you know, he has to come in and make a difference. We haven't seen that. Uh, Nick Chubb ran all over that defense. I think uh, if they want to stop Lamar, he has to be the spy on Lamar Jackson. But I have the Chiefs winning it too. Last but not least, we have the Green Bay Packers versus the Detroit Lions. Guys? Next factor's got to be Jared Goff. Um, he had a decent game against the 49ers, nearly led them to a comeback, but if he can play like the year that they got in the Super Bowl with a much worse team, then I think they have a chance. But, you know, his receiver's questionable, but I think he has to have a great game if they want to contend. And I'm actually going to give it to the Packers in a very close game. Yeah, my, uh, let me give one from each team here. The, the, the Lions' X factor is 100% their defense because if Aaron Rodgers looks bad, again, like he did week one, and their defense steps up, I think the Lions win this game. And then for the, for the Packers, it's, it's got to be Aaron Rodgers. You know, we just talked about it, how bad he looked in week one. And uh, you see how the team played, uh, putting up three points when he plays that bad. So if they want to score, if they want to get points on the board and win the game, Aaron Rodgers is going to have to step up. I agree. Moving on to game picks, we start off with the 49ers versus Eagles. Anthony? Give me the Eagles. I think Jalen Hurts looked really good against Atlanta. And yes, it's Atlanta. It's a very bad defense. But the 49ers secondary took huge hits this past week. They're uh, without Raheem Mostert. So I think it's Elijah Mitchell. He's going to step in. I think Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith have a good connection. So give me the Eagles in an upset. I like the 49ers here. Um, their offense didn't look too bad, even with uh, Raheem Mostert out. I know. I know they're playing uh, Detroit Lions in that game one, so that's probably part of the reason. But I think that the 49ers can win this game. Um, I just don't think the Eagles are really, like, they played a good week one, but they, they played the Falcons. And anybody can put up 30, 30 points against the Falcons. So i got the 49ers here. Um, it's going to be a close game, though. Let's we'll see a close one. Next up, we have the Bengals versus the Bears. Anthony? I thought they looked really good against uh, Minnesota. I think Joe Burrow's back to his best. We know he's going to be a good quarterback in the NFL, and he looked really good. That offensive line really surprised me. 
with how you know good they were at protecting Joe Burrow, and then Jamar Chase had a really good game. So I'm going to go with the Bengals. Yeah, I'll take the Bears at home. Um, Bears just – it was okay performance in the first half of that game, and then they kind of just – the Rams blew away with it in the uh, second half. But I think that the Bears, you know, Andy Dalton and Justin Fields, you know, kind of sharing reps here and there. But I think that they, they, they both looked serviceable at quarterback. And the Bears, I think the Bears just, they, they're a sneaky team sometimes. They, they find a way to win games. So, I'll go with the Bears. I don't trust Andy Dalton to lead any team. I mean, you, de- you definitely see him against the Cowboys last, or with the Cowboys last year, uh, putting up just bad numbers, and they couldn't win a game with him. But I think that, that the Bengals, you know, they just don't really have a great team on defense, you know, a great defensive unit. So, I think that Andy Dalton can do just fine, and... Uh, if he's struggling, they, throw to, they put Justin Fields in the game. They have one of the best safeties in the NFL. It's one safety. The, the rest, they, they're not going to get any pressure on the quarterback, especially with Chicago Bears. I think they have a decent offensive line. You know, it's not, it's not bad by any means. And uh, Montgomery looked pretty good week one, so we'll things will be fine. I just think that the Bengals run all over that defense, which looked horrible. Next up, we have the Colts versus the Rams. Yeah, uh, I'm going to take the favorite. Stafford looked like a great quarterback. Uh, that's that's what we saw from an early age Stafford. You know, uh, kind of late towards the Lions. You know, this, the Lions were a bad team, so uh, he wasn't getting all the love that he deserved. But I think Stafford looks really well, uh, really good. And so I think that uh, the Rams defense also here just they're locked down. You know, Jalen Ramsey's best corner in the league. Aaron Donald's best pass rusher in the league. I think just a great team got the Rams. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Rams, too, but I'm gonna be, I think it's going to be a really close game. I think Indy didn't look great against Seattle, but Carson Wentz put up some good numbers. I think he's going to have a better game, and I think the, but I think the Rams are going to pull it out maybe by a field goal. Next up, we have the Bills versus the Dolphins. Anthony? Give me the Bills. I think it's a bounce-back game for them. Last week was a fluke. They had 10 point lead and then lost it, but I think Josh Allen is going to put up big numbers. I think they're going to win this game. By more than 10 points. I was just, uh, you know, hating on the Bills here. Um, so I think this is going to be a really close game. You know, the Dolphins uh, go to New England and get a win, uh, which is pretty pretty hard to do uh, on a Patriots opener at, you know, Foxborough. So I think that just, I, I, I'm still going to go with the Bills here. You know, it's, I think it's going to be a closer game than uh, you expect, but. I think that the Dolphins, they have a chance of winning this one, so we'll see. Moving on, we have the Broncos versus the Jaguars. Anthony? I'm going to go with the Broncos here. I think their defense looked really good against the New York Giants, and Trevor Lawrence really struggled. I think that we're going to get a good matchup. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater looked, again, really good in his debut. So I'm going to go with the Broncos here, but I think it's going to be very close. Yeah, I think Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence definitely struggled week one, but I think he has a bounce back week two against the Broncos. Um, I mean, they, they do have a good defense, uh, and they looked really, really good against the Giants. But I think that the Jags here, you know, they're just, they're, they're going to step up this game. They're going to get a win. Next up, we have the Patriots versus the Jets. Brayden? I take the Pats here. Uh, they still looked pretty good week one. Um, the Dolphins just looked a little better. But when you're playing the Jets, you're going to get a win. So give me the Patriots. Yeah, even Patriots too. I think Mac Jones looked really, really good against my, a good Miami defense. And now he's playing a team that is just horrible. So give me the Patriots. Huge. Big, big win for the Patriots. Next up, Raiders versus Steelers. Redden. Both these teams here looked super good in week one. Uh, the Steelers defense just shut down Josh Allen and the Bills. And then we got the Raiders uh, beating the Ravens on Monday night. So I think this is going to be a really good game. Um, I'm going to go with the Steelers here. You know, I think that the Steelers, just their defense is just best. I think it's best in the league, I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to go with the, the Steelers here. Um, just don't think the Raiders are going to win this one. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think they looked really good against Baltimore. Yes, they were down 14 nothing early. But Derek Carr, he's an okay quarterback who can lead a team, and I think uh, the, the Steelers defense is going to have some problems with Josh Jacobs, Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, so I think it's really good, really underrated, underrated wide receiver, and Darren Waller, we know he's going to be. So give me the Raiders. 
Following that game, we have a divisional matchup between the Saints and the Panthers. Anthony? It's going to be the Saints. They just went out and destroyed the Packers, and I think the Panthers are nowhere near as good as the Packers. Yes, Christian McCaffrey, second. He's top two running back in the NFL. And I, but I just think that the Saints have a very good defense, very underrated defense. I think Jameis Winston wins the second, 2-0. Yeah, I think the Saints, you know, they just they look so good week one. It's hard to pick against them. But I'm going to go with the Panthers. And I think the reason I'm going with the Panthers here is because James Winston always has a pretty good performance, and then the next game he throws five interceptions. And we, we, we've seen that when he was on the Bucks. Uh, so I think that, that Winston, I don't think he has a good game, even with the, the Carolina defense not being – very good. I think he still finds a way to throw some interceptions. I think the Panthers take advantage, and I think McCaffrey has a big day against the Saints. You're very high on the Panthers for some reason. What? You're very high on the Panthers for some reason. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I just I like the Panthers. I, I like their offense. they got young receivers. Uh, DJ Moore looks good. You know Robbie Anderson. Uh, Saint Sam Darnold looked good week one. I know they were playing the Jets. A little revenge game there, but just Sam Darnold. I think he's thinking he can be what the Panthers are looking for. No, give me the Saints big. Next up, we have the AFC South leading Texans <laughs> versus the Browns. <laughs> yeah, you're really big on those Texans over there. I think they're pretty good. Um, you know, hate to pick against you, Caleb, but I'm going to go with the Browns. You know, the Browns, just, they look good week one against the Chiefs. Uh, you know, the Houston Texans got to win, but... They didn't play anybody, so give me the Browns. They look good. The running back core is good. Got a good offense. Got a good defense. They got all the pieces to the puzzle. Take the Browns. Yeah, Browns big. I mean, if it's anybody else, they win week one. But unfortunately, it was the Kansas City Chiefs. Texans played a very bad Jacksonville defense. And Urban Meyer didn't work out. I don't think he will. So give me the Browns big. Next up, we have the Falcons versus the Bucks. Anthony? Bucks big. Falcons are the worst team in the NFL. Yeah, I, I think the Bucks are going to win this one, but I think we've got a shootout here. I think Matt Ryan's going to have a bounce back week, too. Uh, Calvin Ridley finds a way to get some production. You know, he didn't have much last week. Um, I think they kind of work, you know, pits into the offense a little more. I think that the, the Falcons could put up some points. I think we see this one in the, 40s, the 30s or 40s, but I still think the Bucks are going to win. No, Falcons are nowhere near that good. I think, I think Matt Ryan has a good week. Uh, you know, he had a bad week against the Eagles, but... That's just week one, and you see Matt Ryan, you know, he, he's always finding a way to put up yards. I think he gets in the end zone a lot this game, so. Next up, we have the Minnesota Vikings versus the Arizona Cardinals. Anthony? Uh, give me Arizona. I think it'll be a very close game, but I think that Arizona is going to do what they did against Tennessee and put up some big numbers, so give me Arizona. Yeah, I got Arizona easy. Um, they just look so, so calm out there. You know, Kyler Murray – Impressive week one, best quarterback performance I think. Uh, maybe besides Matt Stafford, but I think I think Kyler Murray just he's definitely an MVP candidate. And I think Chandler Jones, uh, defensive player of the year uh, after week one. So I think I think the Cardinals are going to win this one. I don't think it's going to be much of a competition here. So yeah, Cardinals. Next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Braden. America's team, can't pick against them. Give me the Dallas Cowboys. Week one, Dak looked good. Uh, Dak is back. Um, think find a way to get Zeke the ball a little more, get him some more touches. Um, Chargers, definitely going to be good offense with Herbert. And uh, Austin Eckler is going to have a big big week against that uh, Cowboys defense that's not very good. But when you got Dak Prescott, a quarterback, putting up 400 yards a game, can't pick against them. Give me Dallas. I can. I'm going to go with the Chargers here. I think Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen are going to have a very, very good game. I think uh, Mike Williams is again a very good game against a weak secondary, a weak defense. And I think Austin Eckler is going to have a big one. Again, I think Dak will keep it close, but I just don't see them winning it. Give me the Chargers. Last game of the week, we have the Titans versus the Seahawks. Anthony? The Titans. I know they looked horrible against Arizona. But I think they're going to have a bounce back. Ryan Tannehill is a very good quarterback. He's got two of the best receivers in the NFL. They have, again, the best running back in the NFL. I just think their defense is going to step up, lock down Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf, and I think they're going to win. Give me Tennessee. Yeah, you set aside the Packers here, and I think the Titans is 
second worst team after week one. You know, they they definitely uh, had high expe- high expectations, and you know, they disappointed for sure. Uh, many people thought they were going to win. Uh, they were definitely the favorites. So I think the Titans, um, just with all their big name players, I think they find a way to turn it around in week two. But I don't. I I think the Seahawks are still going to win this game. Um, Definitely like Russell Wilson. Definitely like what he did week one. Tyler Lockett looked great. DK Metcalf looked great. So I think that they're just going to find a way to win this game, uh, put the Titans 0-2. Um, I'm not saying – I think the Titans still win the division there, but I think the Seahawks are going to take this one. So give me Seattle. That's all for Beyond the Sidelines this week. I'm Caleb Weber with Anthony Silvani and Braden Fickle, and we'll see you next week.